Hello guys, my name is Lenny and today I'm going to show you how to make your web application look better um, than the one if you followed my last tutorial. As I said in one of those tutorials, um, it's not a good approach with those configuration files lying around and and so on. <laughs> so I have um, adjusted my project to Spring as Spring um, can work much better with uh, configuration files and well actually auto wiring. Um, what I've actually added, I have moved the configuration into application context which is located in webinf. Yeah, you probably know where it is. Um, I have added uh, transaction manager that keeps track of transaction and transactions and it's connected to session factory which contains um, data access objects and um, sets the hibernate properties. It uses the data source which I have defined here. By the way I had to specify the exact port where the database is running as Hibernate or Spring. Well I think Hibernate was trying to connect to 1434 for some interesting reason. I have no idea why. Never mind. Um, so this is the actual connection. This is a um, data access object definition and this is a uh, data access object injection into a uh, service class. That service class is uh, defined here and it's injected, well defined, it's injected here into user controller which is right about here. I think this should be upper case. Well, it doesn't really matter what the case it is, as I'm not using it anywhere. Um, how this works. I have deleted all the configuration files, Hibernate Util, Revenge, Reverse Engineering, or whatever. And I have made the data access object class myself. Uh, this is how you set up the class. You define it as an entity. You define the table where you can find the uh, data in the database and I have defined a named query. I'm gonna go to that uh, later on. Also, uh, if you notice, there's a annotation definition of the class. Uh, what this does, basically, it links the login to specific column in the table. It links this field to specific um, column. I don't think I need the constructor, never mind. Alright, let's go back to named queries. How this works is I get a controller here which serves the user list. I'm yeah, I should go a little bit more back. Um, when I run the project, dispatcher, well web um, XML says that the welcome page is redirect JSP. In redirect JSP, there's a redirect to index HTM. It is HTM because it's already translated as it is in the web inf, well, inf, inf, whatever we want to call it, in the JSP folder. Um, this is the only JSP which should be outside um, this folder. Now, when I when I access the index class, well, index site page, whatever, um, I have added just a simple link to user list and if my memory serves me co correctly, I think uh, the, the translation of controllers should assign a controller to this class, the user controller to th that class. And um, when I access the the site, 
this part tries to load some data and the way it works is the best approach is to create a service class where you store the data access objects and it can be kind of confusing as I'm calling this one data access object and this one data access object this one is like the um, it's before this one it defines some stuff which can be used and I'm gonna go through that uh, in, a, in a few moments let's go back um, so I'm using some service which is pretty simple you can define like transactional here you can define a lot of other stuff I should be probably using a different approach I shouldn't be um, getting this data access object I should be using methods from user service and user service should be using the data access object never mind um, I'm gonna do that later on but it's uh, pretty simple right now uh, that object has a method read users let's go to the method all it does is that it calls a named query by this name and you can find the query in this class by the way I'm holding control in this class you define the named query here and this is the HQL query um, you probably know about I'm selecting all the data from this class which is translated to this table if I would want to create a select or query which would contain order by or group by I would have to define a named native query it would have to be in um, this well the same uh, syntax like this one you just add one word oh yeah I didn't want to redeploy never mind um, so I get the data from the database and I add it to the site and then I just print it out with this for each um, I think I should mention that I have encountered kind of big problem with uh, Spring as Spring uh, 3 well from the version 3.0 doesn't contain this jar and this jar is needed for the database connection or well it's just some sort of um, no class method whatever exception yeah um, so if you're encountering a problem you cannot really understand yourself um, this is probably the reason I had no idea what's going on so I tried uh, Google and found the solution you just need to download AOP Alliance jar and that's it if you got lower version of Spring like 2.9 you should be fine so let's go back to application context I think I went through all the things I have added yeah I have explained pretty much everything now the advantage of this um, in comparison to what I've created before in my tutorial is that this is much more much more clear it is uh, the best way to use well not really the best way it is a good way to how to use um, spring auto wiring and well basically spring um, you can also refer you don't have to hard code the values here you can have like properties somewhere I don't care this is more simple for me I don't have to um, keep track of many files or property files um, what else can I say yeah that's probably it that this sums it up um, if you got any questions feel free to ask if you want me to cover specific topics also let me know in the comments and 
I want to continue this tutorial uh, when something new comes into my mind. Like I can cover uh, web services, I can cover, um, for example, file import like um, Excel file file import and parsing, PDF file parsing, um, pretty much anything that. Um, that affects or can be used in web applications. All right. Um, I hope this uh, helped you, as I think it's like the next step from the <laughs> tutorial I made before. It's like a another level, and this is the good approach. That the last one was kind of bad. The last one could be confusing in bigger projects. Um, see ya in the next one. Oh, I nearly forgot uh, to show you how it works. I'm on the index page. I'm clicking the link and I can see the data on the database. Just to be safe. Yeah, that's what I'm actually seeing. Alright, that's it. See ya.